Hello, I'm John Paul and I'm here at Rimmer Brothers today to change the automatic transmission fluid with a flushing machine and an also conversion for the filter on this Range Rover L322. Before we fit the filter conversion kit, which includes a new filter and a new sump, it's easier to fit this than the standard one. This has been developed so that you don't have to take off the exhaust and the cross members and support the engine. But before we fit that, we'll give it a gearbox flush that so will change all the oil and flush the system out so that when you eventually put the fresh oil in, you haven't got old oil going through the new filter. So it'll be just the new oil, new filter in the, in the nice new gearbox. Everybody thinks about changing their engine oil and filter like they should, it's in your service schedule to do that. And people think about changing the diff oils, but very rarely do people think about changing the automatic transmission fluid. Uh, but now most manufacturers are now starting to say that they should be changed at certain mileages and under certain conditions. Um, so this is the way of changing 99% of the oil as opposed to if you just drop the sump and change the filter, you will only change 40% of the oil. So this machine, you do it with the, the vehicle running, you connect it into the, system, into the automatic transmission system, and you've, you've put a conditioning fluid through it, um, and then you changed all of the oil in the whole gearbox with the engine running and working it through the gears. So it's a much better system, and it works really, really well. The first thing we're going to do is get the vehicle in the air, we'll take off the under tray, and then we'll see where the oil cooler pipes are going to the oil cooler, which is on this vehicle is the easiest way to do it. So we'll connect our machine into the system of the vehicle, then we'll put the flushing oil in, set it all up, and then we'll get the engine running, we'll work it through the gears so the oil gets all flushed and cleaned through every part of the gearbox, and then once that process is done, we'll change the sump and the filter. So we've flushed the system with the flushing oil, so that's hopefully cleaned it out the best it can without doing the, the full flush. Um, so now we're going to remove the sump on this vehicle, this is the V8 version, so it's, it isn't too bad. You've got the exhaust each side and the cross member isn't right underneath the sump, so you can see what we're doing a little bit better. So we're going to remove all the bolts on the outside of the sump and then we'll drop the sump. Just prior to that, we have drained all the fluid back into the, into the machine, so there's not too much left in the sump. But the last half a litre or so, you can't, you can't get it because the filter won't pick it up. So we've just dropped the sump plug just to drain that last half a litre so it's not too much of a mess when we're taking the rest of the sump off. So now I'm going to take the bolts off and then we'll show you the filter inside the sump. Here's the sump removed. Now this, is, this was the fairly easy sump because of the amount of access we've got. But on the limited access ones, what the conversion kit uh, enables you to do is when you, the sump's halfway down, you get a little hacksaw blade and you'll cut the pickup tube off from the filter. So you cut it off, then you can remove the filter housing um, and, and then you can remove the rest of the, um, the pickup pipe. So that's out of the way. And then the new one, you can fit the filter first and then the sump afterwards, which allows the access that you need when you've got the, the exhaust and the cross member underneath the gearbox. But this is a nice simple one where we can show you exactly what to do there. There's a couple of more things we need to do before we fit the conversion kit. Firstly, is just to make sure the mating surface where the gas is going to go is nice and clean. And also, the kit comes with a new set of bolts that, to mount the sump to the, to the gearbox. And so they do suggest you use an M6 tap just to run up each of the threads in the bottom of the sump so that you can just make sure that it's all nice and clean before you fit the new bolts. Here's the main difference between the standard sump and filter and the aftermarket uh, conversion sump and filter. This is the filter and you can see it's separate from the sump. So you just need to re remove the blanking plug from the end and then you fit the filter up into the valve block make sure it pushes home nice and safely. There's a couple of little clips that are clipped onto the, onto the pipe work on the bottom of the valve block. And then it's the case when that's in place, you just put the sump back on, or if it's the restricted access one, you can slide it between the exhaust and the cross member, fit it back on, and then put your bolts in, tighten them up, and then uh, that's all done. That's the conversion kit fitted, the fluid's been exchanged, all I've got to do now is disconnect the pipes, put them back onto the oil cooler, road test the vehicle, check there's no leaks, and then that's that job finished. I've drained the reservoirs of the machine and I've put the oil, the old and the new, into glass jars. You can see, obviously this is the old oil, and that's how it is as the new oil, so you can definitely see the discoloration in the oil, so it was definitely worth changing. The benefits of doing this uh, gearbox flush are it changes all of the oil, it's a great preventative um, procedure within the gearbox. As the miles get up, the, the gearbox gets a little bit lazy, it's got dirty oil in it, the additives within the oil start to break down, so the oil is not as good as it used to be. So it's, it's a much, much more uh, cost effective and, and increases the longevity of your gearbox. The, a, 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 um, a gearbox failure can cost up to £3,000, you know, it's a big old job, this extends the life of your gearbox. I mean, we recently had a chap in, he didn't even realise he had a problem with his gearbox, and we did a gearbox flush, and he said it drove like a new vehicle again, and it's extended the life of his gearbox, so it's a really good procedure. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you've all enjoyed it.